All new at 6 o'clock, a pair of suspected gunmen are behind bars after police say they stole a Montgomery County's truck, their, the couple's truck, at a New Orleans hotel earlier this month. Officials say they used the car in a drive-by. Katira Winfrey tells us how the couple is warning others now to take extra precaution when vacationing. Katira. Well, the Washington say they were planning to have three days of fun and relaxation in New Orleans, but the trip was anything but that. They say the whole ordeal was stressful and they don't want anyone else to experience it. And he said, no, just leave your key. Shock is the best way to describe what Minnie Washington and her husband experienced on a family trip to New Orleans earlier this month. It went wrong from the beginning. Nothing relaxing about it. Nothing relaxing about it. They pulled up to Harrah's New Orleans January 15th and were unloading their truck near the ballet when their trip took a terrifying turn. We didn't even have time to get everything out of the truck. We was in progress of taking the luggage out the back when the man came from nowhere and just jumped into the driver's seat and took off. She says her husband tried to run after the truck but realized the driver had a gun and stopped. Days later, while stranded at the hotel, they saw surveillance footage of their truck being used in a drive-by in downtown New Orleans that left a couple people injured. My husband screamed out. He was watching the news that morning. He said, that's our truck. And I ran out of the bathroom and it was our truck. Seeing it driving around shooting at people was a feeling I really can't describe. It was awful. Washington says the ordeal caused so much stress, she ended up being hospitalized for several days. And her husband, who's a military veteran, has had trouble sleeping, wondering what if he'd also been shot. And not knowing how those individuals are right now. I'm not sure if they're stable or if they made it. It's just was traumatic. She says the hotel did comp their stay, but say they aren't responsible for the theft since they hadn't actually given them possession of their truck keys. Washington added police had been tracking the truck for days, but by the time they got it, it had been used in a drive by and left torch under a bridge. When you go to these places, don't just assume they're going to have your best interest at heart, because when it comes to the blame game, you know, it, it just doesn't always work out the way. And Mrs. Washington says the only resolution she's seen is the red light ticket they were issued after the, the, the theft has been dismissed by the city. I did reach out to Harris and am waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Katira Winfrey, KHOU 11 News. What an ordeal. So relieved her husband or she were hurt. Thank you so much.